you promised you wouldn't go back in that house again. I didn't. I was on the garage roof. I did it with my powers. Okay, on the garage roof with your powers. All right, I need to think. Let's see. Is there a swing? A girl I know used to live in that house. Her life was good and happy. When she was just two years old, her mother died. Her father was a doctor, and he needed someone to look after things at home, so he invited the mother's stepsister to come and live with him. But the girl's aunt was a mean person who treated the girl very badly. The trench bull. Yes. And worst of all, when the girl was five, her father died. How did her father die? The police decided he'd killed himself. Why would he do such a thing? No one knows. The end is happier. She found a small cottage. She rented it from this lovely rhubarb farmer for just $50 a month. And she covered it in honeysuckle, and she planted hundreds of wild flowers, and she moved out of her wicked aunt's house, and she finally got her freedom. Good for her. Do you know why I told you this? No. You were born into a family that doesn't always appreciate you. But one day, things are going to be very different. Should we go inside and have tea and cookies? Yes, please. Okay. This is a cottage from your story. Yes. The young woman is you. But then, no. Yes. And Trunchbull. A child came to my house. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know why. Miss, Miss Trunchbull, may, may I? No, you may not. But I know a child came. So, did you know it was illegal to enter someone's home without their permission? Yes, Miss Trunchbull, sir. Stand up straight, some again, shoulders back. Do any of you recognize this? Hmm? Let's play a game, shall we? Who was wearing a pretty red hair ribbon yesterday and isn't wearing one today? Can you answer me that? Who does this disgusting ribbon belong to? <laughs> I shall personally see to it. That the demented, drooling, slime breathed little Lilliputian who owns this disgusting ribbon will never see the light of day again. You. Miss Trunchbull, I was the one who was at your house last night. I know I. <laughs> I don't. I broke your arm once before. I can do it again, Jenny. I am not seven years old anymore, Aunt Trunchbull. <gasps> Shut your house! You will be put away in a place where not even the crows can land their droppings on you. Look!
We're leaving. Come on. Let's go. Get in the car. Hurry up. Let's wrap up these cookies. Come on. We're leaving. Now. I I'd be happy to walk her home. Well, nobody will be there. We're moving to Guam. Come on. Let's go. Guam? Yeah. Daddy's not going to be in the auto business anymore. I don't want to leave. We're going on a permanent vacation. Yeah, and we got to beat the speedboat salesman to the airport. I love it here. I love my school. It isn't fair. Miss Honey, please don't let them Get in the car, Melinda. Matilda. Whatever. I wanted to stay with Miss Honey. Well, Miss Honey doesn't want you. Why would she want some snotty, disobedient kid? Because she's a spectacularly wonderful child, and I love her. Adopt me, Miss Honey. You can adopt me. Look, I don't have time for all these legalities. One second, Dad. I have the adoption papers. What? Hey, where'd you get those? From a book in the library. I've had them since I was big enough to Xerox. Are you hearing this, Harry? <sighs> all you have to do is sign them. I'll be an only child again. Shut up! I, I, I can't think with all these sirens. What do you think, Pumpkin? You're the only daughter I ever had, Matilda. And I never understood you, not one little bit. Who's got a pen? Here. Thanks. And doing perhaps the first decent thing they ever did for their daughter, the Wormwood right signed the adoption uh, okay. papers. Right here. You're not going to be calling us for support payments or something like that, huh? Oh, no, no, no. We'll have everything we need. Don't worry. All right, here. Let's roll. 